All right. Welcome back to the Beerman blog. Um, I know it's been a while since I've done a coffee video. I thought maybe the coffee videos would be over with, but started talking about them again in one of our cupcake videos, and I just so happened to see these two. They're not both really the same flavor, but they do both have pecan in them. So I figured, what the heck, do a video on both of these and see which one I like better. So we got the Starbucks Maple Pecan and the Great Value Pecan Pie. Let's go ahead and brew up the Great Value first and let's get into it. When, when I get back, I'll have a cup and we'll talk a little bit about the Great Value Pecan Pie. All right, we have a mug of the Great Value Pecan Pie ground coffee. We brewed up pot, we're ready to go, we're ready to taste it. Um, just want to tell you a little bit more about the Great Value Pecan Pie. Um, it's naturally artificially flavored. Uh, it is a medium roast. And that's pretty much all they really tell you on these bags is the flavor, medium roast. Uh, it's 100% coffee, natural artificial flavor. And I believe this was like about seven bucks for this, and you get 16 ounces in that seven bucks. And really, um, I'm gonna open it and smell it a little bit because I don't really think it smelled much like a pecan pie at all. It smells, I mean, it's got like that, you know, it's a flavored coffee smell, but I'm gonna say it smells more just like a pecan smell to it. It doesn't really have like a, a sweet smell or a, like a uh, pecan pie type of smell. And it really didn't smell all that great while it was brewing up. It smelled just like a coffee. So I'm gonna guess that the flavor that is in this is going to be very, very faint, but we will see how it goes. Um, not using the mug that I usually do in these videos in case anyone's watched my videos before. Uh, my son got me this when he went to Batu and Disney World, uh, Black Spire Outpost, all that good stuff. So I figured might as well use it um, before all the other stuff that he went last year. Um, but so I've had the mug for a while, but you know I've never really used used it. So I figured might as well start using it. Uh, the only thing I really don't like about like all these souvenir mugs is they make them so huge, like compared to a regular mug which I can't show the bottom of because it's, you know, one of these joke mugs that says, it's got a print on the bottom that says the opposite of have a nice day. But yeah, it's, I mean, this isn't even the biggest souvenir mug we have, but it's like, why do they make them so gigantic? I don't, I don't know. I mean, it is nice to be able to put your whole hand in the handle. I like that. You know, instead of having you know, like three fingers or whatever. So, um, but okay, let's get to, uh, to, uh, tasting the great value pecan pie and see what we got. Like I said, there's no sweeteners in it. I'm going to taste it black, but I think I might throw some sweeteners in a little bit later after we taste this and see what we got. And off, off the bat for the smell, it again smells vaguely nutty like a pecan. Uh, I'm not getting any like sweet smell of flavor or like a caramel flavor or any type of maple flavor and you know. this actually tastes pretty good i'm not going to say it encapsulates a pecan pie no but that first sip has a nice pecan flavor to it so i i like it It's got something else in there that's trying to be like pie-like, um, but I don't want to say it's like, you know, sugary sweetness or anything like that. There's the nut flavor, and then it sort of tastes like they tried, it's got a bit of like a, I want to say it tastes like the crust of the pie a little bit, like a... 
biscuity sort of flavor, I guess. But it has a nice pecan nut flavor to it. And it's really smooth. I like it. I like this one quite a bit, actually. I'm, I'm actually very pleasantly surprised that this is, you know, pretty good. I'm, I thought they were cheaper last time I had some because I was like, wow, this is like seven bucks. But you get 16 ounces compared to the Starbucks one, which we'll get to later, which is like $7.99, $8.99, or, no, $7.99, I think is what I paid for the Starbucks one. This was $6.99, so yeah, dollar difference, but you get more coffee in this package. So I like this one, straight black with no sweetener. I think I'm going to go ahead, um, finish this cup off, get another cup, and put like a packet of sweetener in it and see if that makes any difference. So I will uh, do that and be right back. All right, went. I got another cup, put a packet of sweetener in there, uh, just a packet of great value, no calorie sweetener, the sucralose kind. So there's only one pack of sweetener in the cup and we will see if that enhanced the flavor any or if there's not much of a change. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, that obviously brings out sweetness because it's a sweetener, duh. But you do get more pie-like flavors out of it. I think just because you're adding a sweetener, maybe that's just all it is. But I still do like the nut flavor. Maybe it's just the sweetener overpowering it. Like I said, I only used one package for a whole cup. I mean, I didn't fill this whole cup. It's one of these. That's and the reason I have this here is I fill this cup up, so I have a cup, and then you know, I just pour it into this one after I mix it all up. So. But yeah, I want to say there's more of that. You know, I should turn the air conditioner off, so I have to do that too. Um, but I do want to say it gets more pie-like with a little bit of sweetener in it, and it's still really good. Uh, the nut flavor does dissipate a little bit because the sweetener is sort of overpowering it. But I also think you get, like I said, that more biscuity, like crusty flavor. I can't think of what it is, like buttery type of flavor that you usually get with like a pecan pie with, from the crust. So all in all, I think this is really good. If you want a pecan flavored coffee for the fall, um, it's a medium roast, like I said. Uh, don't expect it to taste like a pecan pie, but with some sweetener, it, it is very delicious. Uh, it's delicious without a sweetener if you like nutty coffees, especially if you like pecan flavor. So I would say this one's pretty good, pretty good deal. And we will see how well the maple pecan from Starbucks. Uh, it, we will see how well the maple pecan from Starbucks uh, uh, compares to it. Uh, so I will go ahead and. I don't want to waste all that coffee though, but I don't need to drink all that coffee right now. So dump it out, rinse it out, get it all ready to go. And I will make a pot of the maple pecan the same way that I made this. And then we will do the same thing, uh, a black cup and then a cup with a packet of sweetener in it. Okay, we're back. We have the Starbucks maple pecan flavor coffee. I am going to be 100% honest with you. I have bought this a while ago. I've been drinking it. I like it. Uh, but right now I cannot remember the flavors because it's been a few days since I've had it. So, but I will say that I, I probably like it obviously because I've been drinking it. So maple pecan, this is uh, their limited edition along with like their pumpkin spice and their fall blend, which I think I've already done like reviews of both of those on previous videos last year. Uh, this one is uh, obviously like all the Starbucks ones made without artificial flavors. Um, this is also, I believe, their lightest roast I think I saw on here somewhere. Um, they usually put like a paragraph to fall in the flavor. Toasty pecan notes meet sweet maple in this delightfully cozy coffee. 
They've blended their lightest roast with the perfect fall flavors to create a seasonal favorite to warm the crisp days to come. So yes, this is their lightest roast, so that means it's going to have a bit more caffeine than the medium roast. I'm not really a fan of dark roasts, so that's good. But um, yeah, so this is the maple pecan, and I will say that brewing it, it has more of a, a maple smell to it. Um, it also has less of a roast flavor, obviously, because it's not roasted as long as the other coffee was. You still get that flavor coffee smell to it, but this one has a mapley smell. Not as much of the pecan nut smell to it, so obviously I'm going to guess this one has more maple than pecan flavor flavor in it as well. Um, it did have more of a, a maple smell while brewing as well. But we will see what we got with the Starbucks maple pecan. So here we go. Once again, no sweeteners to start off. And I think part of it is that they use all natural flavors, so it doesn't have that flavor kick as much as the, the great value one. You can taste that there is some pecan in there, not as much pecan flavor as in the great value one. Um, it's a lighter roast, obviously, as well, so you're not getting that more roasted coffee flavor that goes with it. Slight, yeah, there is the slight maple flavor in it. And yeah, I can see why I have been drinking this one. It's, again, this one is also very smooth. Um, like I said, lighter roast compared to the, but you know, that medium roast is still very good for the, the great value pecan pie one. Um, I would say, you know, either one of these would be a good um, if you want, you know, something that's no artificial flavors. Obviously, you want to get this one. It's smooth. It's going to have more caffeine in it because it is a lighter roast. From what I understand, the lighter roasts have more caffeine in them. But this was seven ninety nine, but you only get eleven ounces in a bag compared to six ninety nine and getting a full 16 ounces of coffee. So you're gonna get more coffee, even though it's only a dollar difference in price. And really, like I said, if you're okay with artificial flavors, that pecan pie one's hard to beat. I mean, this is, this is good too. Uh, I wish it had a little bit more maple-y flavor in it, so this is gonna be called maple pecan, but Maybe that'll come out when we add a packet of sweetener. Because right now, like I said, there's no sweetener in this. But yeah, it's smooth. It's not bitter. Well, now I say that, now I'm getting like a little bit of a bitter aftertaste. But I want to say, yeah, it has less of the f flavor portion of it. This is more like a coffee with a very, very, very slight flavor tinge to it. And like I said, they're using 100% natural flavors. But this is, this is good. I like this. Um, I probably should buy the fall blend again though and test that out because I remember really liking that fall blend last year. I haven't gotten a pack of that yet, but I, I do remember really liking that fall blend. All right, so this is good. I'm gonna finish this cup off and get another one, add some sweetener to it, and we'll see if that makes a difference. Okay, back with another cup here with the one packet of sweetener again the same sweetener as before that great value uh, no calorie sweetener the sucralose one the yellow package ones um, we'll see I guess I never did smell the coffee itself I mean it, it's got a little bit of a maple not as much of the nutty aromas to it it's more coffee aroma like I said, just because it seems like there's not as much flavoring put into it. But you have that sweetener, and that punches up the flavors a little bit. 
now it tastes mapley and i think that's again due to the fact that you're adding a sweetener which is making your taste buds accentuate that maple that you know because you maple is sweet so you're like hmm yeah that's good so yes it does accentuate the maple the pecan is still not as strong but it is more maple so it's good yeah I I actually think even though I have been trying to do like I said my coffee is black without any cream or sugar in them and I don't ever use cream so it's always just sugar if non sugar sweetener so I don't use sugar either I just use like the the no calorie sweeteners so but um yeah I actually should just start drinking this one with a packet of sweetener in it because I I think I like it better that way uh, it does bring out that maple flavor more both of these are really good and um, uh, I'll be right back with my final thoughts all right final thoughts you can't go wrong with either one of these if you want more coffee for your buck you would get this one if you're totally against artificial sweeteners or artificial flavors though then you're gonna to want to get this one this one if you're not putting any sweeteners in there don't expect to be hit by the maple or the pecan flavor all that much it's there but it's very slight and really I want to say you don't really taste the maple flavor that much it's more of just a nice smooth coffee with just very slight hints of pecan and maple in there uh, very good like I said very smooth no real bitterness to it I had aftertaste like in one drink but I don't know maybe that was just me thinking because I said you know no bitterness to it which is probably what it was it's just my brain fooling me because every other sip after that was fine it um, says it's toasty and sweet on the package on this one yeah it like I said it isn't bitter it's good without any sweeteners in it you put that sweetener in there though the maple comes out it's really good so I mean it's another decent Starbucks coffee so if you want some maple pecan goodness and you don't want artificial flavors this is the one to get but this one is very good as well when, without any sweeteners in it you do get the like the nuttiness the pecan flavor in it I was getting like a little bit of a crust flavor in there every once in a while at least I was thinking I was um, you're not really getting any sweet flavors though like you did out of this one even without uh, sweetener but then you put the sweetener in this one it really does taste more pie like uh, the pecan and everything just kicks up a little bit more and it's it's really good you can't go wrong you get 16 ounces in this one it's cheaper this one you know you only get 11 ounces but they're they're both really good um, if I was gonna buy another one I would probably get this one just because I don't need as much caffeine in the light roast and I don't really like I said I don't put sweeteners in my drinks all that often and this one had a nice nutty flavor I like the nutty flavors in my coffees so but like I said you can't go wrong with this one either especially if you already do put sweeteners in there and if you put cream in there I'm sure it makes them taste even better so there you go if I had to be put on the spot yeah I would buy this one again if I ran out I mean, if I run out of this one, obviously I'm going to drink the rest of this one. Or when I run out of this one, because I've been drinking this one quite a bit. And I just bought this one to compare. But, um, yeah. If once I'm out of both of these, and if I get the hankering for another pecan flavored one, and I don't see any other ones out there to try, I'd probably get this one again. Great Value makes some pretty decent coffees from what I can tell. So yeah nothing against the Starbucks one that is good it is smooth it's still the one in this mug right now with the sweetener in it nice smooth that maple really does kick it up a notch I mean 
if you're going to put sweetener in there, you might as well get this one. This one's got a really good maple flavor, and like said, this one doesn't really taste like a pecan pie, but it does get a little sweeter. And if you like more of a nuttier flavor, and like I said, you don't care about the artificial sweeteners in it, this would be the one to get. If you're looking more maple-y, and you add sweeteners in there, this would be the one to get. Me, I seem, I tend to like more the nuttiness to it, you know, and I don't add sweeteners all that often. So, yeah, that would be my thing. So, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I am trying to think of more videos, like I said. Uh, the wife is trying to do some more videos as well. Hopefully we can do some more family videos. Um, <laughs> I don't want to keep doing cupcake videos all the time either, but you know, it is fun eating a bunch of cupcakes every, every week or so. So I like that. So we'll probably do that again. But, um, you know, since our last name's Beerman and I haven't really drank beer in quite a while and it is October and I love the fall beers so much. I mean, when the fall hits, there's so many different good beers to try. I'm thinking maybe I'm going to get like a one of those build your own six packs and drink like one beer, give you like a review of those. Um, local beers, if you know of any good local beers here from Iowa that are brewed in Iowa that are like an October style beer from an Iowa brewery, uh, leave it down in the comments and you know if you think I'd like it, I'll buy it. You know, we're going way off track now from the coffee, but um, Hopefully you're still sticking around because we're talking about beer now. Uh, one of my favorite beers is a Wee Heavy. I like Wee Heavies. And there's really, from what I can tell, there's not really much local that you can get in a Wee Heavy. There's Old Chub, which I haven't been able to find lately. But, you know, I, like I said, I haven't drank beer in a while. But I like, really like Old Chub. I think that's my favorite. And then you got the one from Founders called Dirty Bastard. That's a good one. And then there's like another one called Claymore, which I haven't tried yet. But those seem to be like the only three I can really find in a wee heavy style. So if anyone knows of like any local brewers or any other places locally in central Iowa that sells like a wee heavy style beer, like an Old Chub or a, or a Dirty Bastard or the uh, Claymore, I believe is what it's called, uh, let me know in the comments as well. And I also like uh, strong Belgian uh, light ales. Um, I think there's a, one local brewery that makes a sort of beer like that. I think it's called the Blonde Fatale from Back Pocket, I think. I think it was Back Pocket Brewery. I need to try that. Um, but you can't really find any like strong Belgian light ales around either. I really like those. The strong Belgian dark ale, basically strong Belgian ales, period. I like those. But they're also expensive when you do find them, so... But um, yeah, I mean, there's Oktoberfest beers I want to try, and I would like to try local ones just because, you know, you support the local breweries. But I also have seen, you know, some other, like, pumpkin beers, which those are very hit or miss. So I do like all pumpkin beers. Um, I just got to make a decision on which uh, beers I want to do. It's Like I said, it's also been a while since I've had beer, you know, trying to lose weight, um, trying to keep the weight off, and only drinking pretty much on special occasions every now and then. Suggestions for beer videos or whiskey videos. I, I used to love whiskeys, and I should have been doing videos on them a long time ago. My father-in-law said, you know, why don't you do videos and rate this stuff? And it's, I never thought it would really amount to anything, but now I'm like kicking myself because maybe I should have did it. But now I'm like pouring my heart out to you guys <laughs> in a coffee video. But anyway, I sincerely do appreciate anyone who has still been watching, especially through my little end thing, even though we're all done with the video. Um, but I really would, you know, if you really do have any suggestions for like the local brewery, or a local beer that's like an Oktoberfest beer that's out right now because that's the other thing is some of the beers at like the local uh, hy V here like there was one I really wanted to try I picked it up and it was like canned like 
months ago. And it's like, well, this isn't going to be fresh. I'd love to have it, but it's not fresh. The Oktoberfest one's got to be fresh, right? So I think we'll start with those. So, like I said, any Oktoberfest beers that are locally brewed that you think are good, you think I would like, let me know. Send the, you know, drop a link in the comments or drop, you know, hey, try this one, try this one, you know, and I'm all for it. I like, I like it. Like I said, I might have to just do a one of those mix and match six packs and see what I can do. Until next time, like I really do appreciate everyone who watches. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Um, we do, you know, since there's not many people right now, we try to get back to our commenters and um, we want to do we want to do more stuff. We want to, like I said before in my other videos, if you watch all the way through to those, I like making the videos. I, I don't like sitting at the computer forever trying to edit them sometimes, but once I get it done and out, I'm like, yes, I'm good. So I guess until next time, like I said, drop a comment about some beers or coffees or whatever you want to, you know, whatever you want to, th you think we would, that would make a good video and you'd like us to do, drop us a comment, let us know. So finally, I think I'll close it out. Enough babbling. Until next time. Can't go wrong with either one of these. <sighs> Stay out of trouble, everybody. And I will see you in another video.